What it means when someone says, you have my heart. Telling someone, you have my heart, goes beyond a simple term of endearment, it signifies the pivotal role that person plays in your life. The heart, often seen as the source of life and the center of emotions, symbolizes our profound feelings and longings. Therefore, when you describe someone as, my heart, it conveys that this individual is a fundamental aspect of who you are, much like the heart is indispensable to the body's functionality. This expression is a potent acknowledgement of their influence on our lives, indicating that they are not just part of our experiences but are central to how we perceive and navigate the world. You have my heart, meaning. When someone in a relationship expresses, you have my heart, it's like conveying that you hold a special place in their heart. They deeply care about you, and trusting you with their feelings. It goes beyond mere affection, it signifies a profound connection. Imagine it as them affirming that you rank among the most significant individuals in their life. This phrase also implies commitment. They're not just in a relationship for enjoyment, they envision a future with you. It reflects their earnest intention to keep you in their life, ready to provide unwavering support through all circumstances. This declaration is significant because it goes beyond sharing time, it involves sharing emotions and placing trust in you. 5 Things It Means When Someone Says, You Have My Heart 1. Expression of Deep Affection Picture the heart as the epicenter of our emotions, and trusting it to someone signifies confiding in them with our profound feelings. Take note of the sincerity in their voice or the warmth in their eyes when they express it. The person may exhibit heightened attentiveness or demonstrate an elevated level of care towards you. These subtle cues serve as unmistakable indicators of authentic affection. In day-to-day -day interactions, the sentiment can manifest through small, considerate gestures. Perhaps they recall your preferred coffee order, or they send a thoughtful text to check on you during a challenging day. It's not solely about grand proclamations, it resides in the finer points. The way they listen with genuine attention, remember insignificant details about you, or go out of their way to bring a smile to your face. Collectively, these actions convey that you occupy a special place in their heart. 2. Symbol of Trust and Emotional Vulnerability Another perspective to consider is emotional openness. It signifies a declaration of trust, indicating that the person feels secure enough to share their innermost thoughts with you. Vulnerability is a substantial matter, it's akin to entrusting you with a fragile part of themselves. Look out for instances of openness, such as sharing personal anecdotes or expressing emotions they might not typically unveil. It's in these moments of candid sincerity that the phrase takes on its profound meaning. In a world where concealing our emotions is often the standard, opting to be vulnerable with someone holds great significance. You'll observe this in their willingness to discuss fears or dreams, their readiness to seek your support, or their ease in revealing emotional facets they don't usually expose. When someone confides in you to such an extent, it serves as a potent testament to the strength of the bond you share. 3. Long-term commitment and loyalty. When someone declares that you are their heart, it suggests a profound commitment and loyalty. It goes beyond mere romantic feelings, it signifies a dedication to the well-being and happiness of the other person. Observe indications of long-term commitment or actions that demonstrate their commitment for the duration. It could be evident in the way they discuss the future, including you in their long-term plans, or how they stand by you during challenging moments. This commitment is also apparent in the consistency of their actions. They are dependable, consistently available when you need them, and their deeds align with their words. It presents itself as a constant, steadfast presence in your life, providing a sense of security and stability. When someone commits their heart to you, it transcends mere words, it is a promise to be present, to provide support, and to remain loyal through thick and thin. 4. Sign of Unconditional Support Receiving the phrase, you have my heart, can also signify an offer of unconditional support. It's a way of expressing, I'm here for you, no matter what. You can discern this through their unwavering presence, particularly in challenging times. They are the individual who remains steadfast when situations become complex, instead of shying away, they become your solid and reliable support. This support is evident in both actions and words. 
They are the first to extend assistance, the one who listens without judgment, and the voice that provides encouragement when you doubt yourself. Their support isn't a promise dependent on fair weather, it stands as a constant and dependable force. They celebrate your triumphs and stand by you in your struggles, demonstrating through their unwavering commitment that their support is not contingent on conditions. How can you tell if someone truly means it? Determining the authenticity behind someone's statement of, you have my heart, can be likened to engaging in detective work. Initially, observe their actions, do they align with their verbal expressions? If they consistently go out of their way to make you feel special and are consistently present for you, that serves as a positive indicator. Their actions essentially convey that you hold significance in their life. Additionally, pay attention to how they discuss you and the future you might share. Are you included in their plans? Do they exhibit enthusiasm about spending time with you and delving deeper into your world? If the answer is affirmative, it's likely that their words carry genuine meaning. The key lies in their conduct within the relationship, extending beyond the words they use. What should you do if you're not ready to say those words back? Alright, so someone just dropped the, you have my heart, bomb on you, but you're not quite ready to reciprocate. First things first, don't stress out. Taking your time with feelings is completely fine. The crucial part is to be upfront and honest with them. Express your gratitude for their feelings while letting them know you require some additional time to comprehend your own. During this contemplative period, reflect on how you feel in their presence. Are you happy, secure, and valued? These sentiments provide hints about your true emotions. Remember, everyone navigates relationships at their own pace, and that's entirely normal. It's better to be truthful than to utter words you're not prepared for. Is saying, you have my heart, the same as saying, I love you? Expressing, you have my heart, is akin to saying, I love you, but with a distinctive twist. It's a profound and significant declaration, often indicating that someone cherishes you deeply. However, it doesn't always carry the exact same weight as a straightforward, I love you. Consider it as a way of conveying that they care about you immensely, and you hold great importance to them. The distinction lies in the depth of the relationship. I love you, is commonly used in romantic, familial, or close friendship contexts. On the other hand, you have my heart, tends to be more romantically inclined and personal. It's as if they're expressing that you're not merely loved, you occupy a special and exceptional place in their heart. How do you respond? The optimal approach is to be truthful about your emotions. If you share the same sentiment, it's wonderful to communicate that to them. You might express something along the lines of, I feel incredibly fortunate to have you in my life, or, you hold a special place in my heart too. The idea is to convey your emotions and affirm that they are also significant to you. However, if you're uncertain about your feelings or if it feels too early to reciprocate, that's perfectly acceptable. It's crucial to be honest yet gentle. You could say something like, I'm genuinely pleased to hear that, and I'm enjoying the process of getting to know you better. This way, you acknowledge their feelings without feeling compelled to utter something you're not prepared for. Remember, sincerity and respectfulness are paramount in crafting any response. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.